Hi guys, um, so Lick Friday, week 11. Now this next bunch of licks is going to be based um, just for the video purposes, just based over my C minor blues track, which I did quite a while ago now. Um, so if you want to find the link for the track, it is below on that little description box. Um, so also you're gonna need to know your first, well, all five positions of the pentatonic if you can, that'd be great. Um, and for those, you'll need to go to the download section of my website, which is um, also in the link below. Um, but I'll say it now. So it's www.guitarjammingtracks.com. Um, and as I said, go to the download section, lessons and download section of that. Um, so the lick, I'm going to play it along with the track, just so you get an idea of the sort of thing you do with it. Um, by all means, play it along with any track you like. It's got quite a shuffly sort of feel to it, so that would ideally be suited to a sort of blues shuffle anyway. Um, if, uh, if you can change it into any key, that would be fantastic. Do what you will with the, this next set of licks. Take them as their entire lick, or sort of chop them about, take just bits of them, whatever you want to do with them. There are no rules, it is down to you. All I want these sort of Lick Friday lessons to do is to hopefully build on your Lick vocabulary. So when it does come to a jamming situation, you've got like this massive Lick bag just to draw from if you like. So here we go. Anyway, I'll play it along with the track. So here we are. Okay, so what I'm doing with this one is basically the starting off with the 11th fret bend, or uh, full tone bend on your first string with your third finger. Now, if you're not used to bending, the way I do this, I use like a pivot on the side of my palm. This is, kind of takes the strain off the fingers so you don't end up with tendonitis and all sorts of horrible little problems like that. Um, so you're gonna put your finger on the note that you want. So I'm using my third finger to fret the note. And then the second finger is going to come behind that finger. You don't have to put it on a certain fret, but you can just nudge it up against it. Um, just to give it a little bit of moral support whilst pushing the string. So you're going to bend that up, and then my first finger is going to kind of collect the strings so you don't end up with strings going over the top like that. And uh, that kind of creates good technique. So um, I will do a lesson on bending at some point, but this is link lesson, so here we go. So we've got a full tone bend, 11th fret, first string, and you're gonna cut the note short. So using the side of your hand, on your right hand, your picking hand, just literally stop the string from ringing as soon as you've reached that top of the, the bend, like that. So we've got full tone bend, coming back down to the static 11th fret on the first string. Then it is the uh, 8th fret, first string. Uh, 11th fret, second string and then 8th fret, 2nd string, so... Um, okay, so you do that three times. And then you'll come in either along with your 2nd finger onto the 3rd string, 10th fret, with a bit of vibrato. And then to finish with, you've got the 8th fret on the 2nd string. So, there we go. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Have fun with your looks.